it's a short week. It's a Labor Day week. <laughs> I don't know what day it is. I don't know what time it is. Well, I think you're fabulous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, Hey y'all and welcome to a new episode of Talking with Taylor. Today I am joined by Jill Winters of Cirque Dreams Jungle Fantasy and I am so excited to chat with you today about Cirque. I'm a Cirque novice. So I, I have seen a Cirque show in Las Vegas a long time ago, but tell me a little bit about kind of the tradition of Cirque and, and what it's all about. Well, the circus obviously has been around for so many years and it's in so many different countries. Um, I actually um, am able to go to all these countries and find these circus artists and uh, I've been to Russia and Mongolia and China and we find um, these are people that, that start learning circus from a very young age. They're circus families. They start at five, you know, six years old and they're balancing. You know, you ever watch the kid balancing on the... Uh, father's hand, you know, in the pool, <laughs> yeah. you know, they start really young uh, learning these amazing feats. Oh, that's fun. I, I love that about Cirque, that it is such a melting pot of different countries and nationalities and races and all of that. What's that like behind the scenes? I mean, to have everybody together around one table. It's, um, I mean, it's, it's amazing. I am so good at charades because <laughs> I only speak English, unfortunately, <laughs> so when I'm trying to speak to someone in, uh, Russian or it's you know and I know just a few like, keywords and I understand more than I can speak yeah. back but I um I am great at charades. I'm like, you know, you have to do this and go up here and, <laughs> and they get it. So we, we always make it happen. The other thing I love about Cirque is that there are so many iterations of it. There's so many different versions or stories to tell. Tell me a little bit about jungle fantasy and what makes it unique. Yeah, jungle fantasy is um it's been around for a really long time. We actually did this, uh, the first version of the show in Branson, Missouri, which is uh, close Love by. Love Branson, shout out <laughs> so Branson. Branson, hey friends. Um, and then it uh, evolved and it keeps evolving. Believe it or not, we've been doing the show well over 10 years and um, it just keeps becoming bigger and bigger. Um, it starts with the story of a, a young boy that we want to give courage to and, and get him to want to be as fabulous and great in his own way, not necessarily the circus way. And, and grow, so we, we want the boy to grow. And that is a perfect message for her right now. Yeah, absolutely. What, what the best thing about Cirque Dreams Jungle Fantasy, it's it's such a family show. You can go when you're, you can bring your two-year-old and you can bring your grandmother who's 92, and they're gonna enjoy it in their own way. It's uh, it's fabulous. I love that, and it's it's because of really just the, 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 not only the story that's told, but the music and the movement behind it. And I know you work closely with the music. Tell me a little bit about that role and how you put that together with such great... Um, yeah, I had um, the pleasure of singing this particular show on Broadway in 2008. We had a, um, a, a limited engagement there at the Broadway yeah. Theater. and. Um, so I was able to really develop the character for myself, which is amazing. And um, so we, we wrote songs to try to take you through the journey and bring in dancers and musicians. We actually have in this show an electric violinist who also plays the, um, I can't remember the name of the African drum. It's, I'm sure someone's gonna see it and say, oh, that's the Djambwe or something. But sorry, that is not no, correct. That would be chill. <laughs> that is not the correct name. But, um, and we have a fabulous vocalist, uh, Julie Langley. She, she takes you through the entire uh, show from beginning to end. And uh, there's a lot of little ditties that are really yeah. fun that people walk away singing. That's incredible. And I, I, I like that so much about this show because I think, you know, I, there are some cirques that are set to the tunes of, you know, famous songs or whatever, but I like that this original music and original story, and I think it's something you won't see anywhere else. It's so true. Tell me, you know, what do you hope audiences walk away with from the show? I think that everyone will walk away feeling really good. I mean, when you watch these artists do what they do, and they are spectacular. I mean, there are people hanging from their toes from 20 feet in the air. There are people soaring through the sky. I mean, there's butterflies, uh, male and female butterflies that, that do this whole romantic air dance. There are um, these two boys from Ethiopia who do an act that we call Icarian, um, where one lays on his back and the other one just flips this boy <laughs> over and over and over again. And uh, it gets a, a huge applause. And there are roller skating zebra 
You know, there are so many uh, amazing things in the jungle that, uh, there's a unicorn, of course. There's a unicorn. <laughs> I mean, who, what jungle doesn't have a unicorn? Right? If you don't have one, you need one. Yeah, so if, you're, it, you, if you love musical theater, you'll enjoy the show. If you love circus, you're really gonna enjoy the show. And uh, it's colorful and beautiful, and I, I do think everyone's gonna walk out of there going, wow. Well, I can't wait for everyone to see the wow. Yes, <laughs> me Thanks, too. Jill. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Talking with Taylor. For more videos like this, follow us on social media at Casey Starlight and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Casey Starlight. Cirque Dreams Jungle Fantasy plays under the stars September 6th through 8th. Get your tickets at CaseyStarlight.com.